Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we've seen how to add a dependent validation list in Excel, creating some tables and defining some names and using the indirect function. As an example, we just added a few countries and a few regions and cities. But what if we want to add the full list of countries in the world, as we have here, and select the country, the particular region, and any city in that region? So in that case, we rather use macros. I have here a data source with countries in column A, regions in column B, and cities in column C. There are more than 23,000 cities. So as you can imagine, we cannot build the tables and the names that we did in the previous video to have the validation. We're going to have some macros filter the data and create a validation list. So let me call this data. Then we're going to have another tab for the validation. And here we will have first the country. And we have to get a unique list of countries from column A. We can do that manually, but I'm going to show you how to do that with VVA. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor. And this first macro will be country validation. So we're going to have for sheets data range AA, we could have the whole column, but it's going to take longer. So let's just specify A1 to A, let's say 24,000, because we have more than 23,000 rows in this data set. And we could also get the last row with content and add that here, but um, let's leave it like that. And then with the advanced filter, we're going to have the action to filter copy. We're going to copy that to range in other sheets that I have not yet added, but I'm going to call list starting in range A1. And we want to get the unique values. And let me add here another worksheet that I will call list. And if we run this macro now, we're going to get the unique list of countries here. It is altogether 245 or 244 countries. Now we want to add the validation. So in sheets, validation, range B3 was that, validation add, and the type is going to be a validate list and the formula is going to be equal to the list worksheet with exclamation sign from A2 to A 249. If we run that now, we're going to get the validation with all the countries here in cell B3. Now we're going to add the region. And this is going to be a dependent validation on the country we select. So whenever we select the country here, it's going to update this field. So for that, we need another macro. Region validation. First, we're going to clear the contents in the validation list range that's going to be D3, clear contents. And we are also going to delete the, val the existing validation. There's nothing just yet, but this macro is going to run every time we select a country. So we need to delete the validation to add the new validation. And we will do the same for the cities. We do not have the cities yet, but we're going to add those later. So. The city is going to be in cell F3, so we're going to do the same. We're going to clear the contents of the city every time we select the country. Then we put the country into a variable, so that will be sheets validation range B3 dot value. And then we're going to filter the data by the country, so that would be sheets data range 
A1, C1, the three columns where we have the data, out of filter by the field one, so the first column, and the criteria one is going to be the country. But before we do that, we want to make sure we show all data. So if sheets data filter mode is true, then sheets data show all data. Filter mode. There we go. If we run now the macro, you see we have Algeria as a country. So it has filter by Algeria. We have all the regions and all the cities in Algeria. If we change the country here and we select Argentina, we run the macro again. Now it has filtered by Argentina. We have the regions and the cities. Now we want to get the unique list of regions for Argentina. And we're going to put that in other sheets. So first sheets list, columns B, clear contents. And then for each element or region in this case in sheets data, range B1 to B, we can put 24,000 or we could get the last row with content, A special cells, Excel cell type visible, only those visible cells after filtering. And we're going to get the unique items using a collection. We've done that in a previous video. I'm going to leave the link up here. So we need to declare a variable as a new collection. And then if my collection.item element is nothing, then we can add to my collection this element with the key element which keeps the unique item. And then if we add another variable here as an integer and we increment by one, then in sheets list, range B in row R, we can add that value. And here we end the if and we move to the next element. And we need to add an error handling here and down here on error go to zero. If we run the macro, we're going to get the list up here in column B with all the regions for Argentina in this case. If we select a different country, let's say Australia, and we run the macro again, it's going to filter by Australia and it's going to add here the list of regions for Australia. So now we just need to add that list here to D3. And we do that getting first the last row with content in sheets list range B, B, and Excel down under row. And then with sheets validation range D3, we add validation of the type validate list with the formula equal to list B2 to B and the last row. Let's run it again. And now if we come here, we have got the validation list with regions for Australia. Now we just need to add the city and repeat the same process. But before we do that, this list needs to be updated whenever we change the country here in B3. So we also need to add an event procedure in the sheet validation 
for a change, not a selection change, but a change. So I'm going to delete this one. And if the target address equals B3 with absolute reference, then we are going to call region validation. Now, if we change the country and we select, for example, Belgium, it automatically updates the region here. If we select other country, let's say Bulgaria, now we have a new list of regions for Bulgaria. Now we're going to do the same for cities. So we need another macro. And it's going to be very similar to this macro here. So I'm going to copy and in a separate module, I'm going to rename this to city validation. But now we only need to clear the city field. So I remove this. Now, instead of country, we will call it region. And that will be now D3. So we're going to get the region that has been selected in D3. And then we're going to filter in the second field, in the second column, by the region. And we do not need now to show all data. And we're going to add the list of cities for that region and for that country in the column C of the list. But now we don't need to get the unique entries because the list of cities is already unique. So we don't need to use a collection and check if the item is in the collection. So I'm removing this and this. And we don't need the error handling. And we just need to loop through column C, so C1 to C24,000, and add the list to the column C. And then again, in column C, we get the last row with content. And we add the validation now to F3 with the content in C2 to C and the last row. But when will this macro run? So I'm going to copy this. And again, I'm going back to the sheet module for validation. And if the target address now is the absolute reference to D3, so if we change the value in D3, which is the region, then we're going to call CD validation. So now we can go back here. If I select another country, let's say Colombia, this field has been updated now with the different regions for Colombia. And if we select the region here, let's say Cordoba, this field is now updated with the cities for that region. And everything is done with the macros through filtering the data in the main data source. So that's what we filter. Those are the lists that we have created to fill the validation here. So that's how we add a multiple dependent validation in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.